Hi right, guys, Levi Singletary back here and uh, I'm going to talk about one of my other favorite kinds of lures to throw and that is the paddle tail swim bait like this right here. Um, this is not tied to anything but uh, I mean you basically what I like to throw this is like a five inch, five and a half inch. I mean that's generally a good range to go in. Uh, same thing I like to throw black and blues and green pumpkins because green pumpkin is like a uh, brim color and then black and blue just shows up well in any water clarity really anything from like brown like muddy water stained water to clear water it shows up good um, right now what I've got it on is a trocar mega swim bait hook with a screw lock on it and it's a six alt so it's a really really I mean, you can see in comparison, that's a thick, thick, thick hook right there. I mean, that's, in comparison to my pinky, that's a thick, thick hook, especially for a hook. Um, I like to fish this on a quarter ounce lead to three eighths ounce lead. I Texas rig it just like I would with a normal Texas rig. I basically fish it on the same rig as I do my Texas rigs, except with a different hook. Um, I like to throw it in pads. You can throw it in open water. I like to throw it in like sparse grass, like scattered grass, great areas to throw it in. Um, and basically, with a swim bait, it's all about speed. Um, rod lengths. I like a, uh, this rod right now has a jig on it, but it's normally my swim bait rod. This is a 6.6 six medium heavy uh, Johnny Morse Carbon Light. Uh, Johnny Morse Carbon Light Reel, 2.0 Reel. Um, same thing, 20 pound braid, I got 20 pound braid on a lot of my rods. 20 is low as I would go with a, with a bigger like paddle tail swim bait like this. Um, 20 pound braid would be as low as I'd go. You'd go up into 30s, 40s, 50s. 50 would be as like high as I would go, but like throwing 50 pound braid, I mean that'd have to be like an Okeechobee, like Florida chain strain situation uh, Harris chain would be where I'd throw 50 and I don't really like to throw these on fluorocarbon really because you know fluorocarbon's got a lot of stretch in it and with this braid really with a swim bait I like to just be able to lean right on back with them and just put that hook right in them because with the swim bait if you go to like with fluorocarbon if you go to set the hook it'll just rip it right out and I don't feel like I get as good a hook sets with fluorocarbon as I do braid and really with a swim bait it's all about speed so you chuck it out there and it's just wine and some days they want it slow as you can reel it and other days i can't reel it fast enough to make them hit it so that's really what i love about swim baits you can get them out there get them back to the boat fast um so yeah i won't do an on the water video about this because simple because you know, I can't always go out on the water and have time to do on the water videos about them, especially with a bait that's this simple to fish. That's just like a chunk and wind bait, like a crankbait or something. It's just chunk out and wind back type of a bait um, where you don't have to put a lot of action in it. Um, you can sit there and shake it some when you're reeling. So like. You can throw it out there when you're reeling it back and you sort of like ever so gently I can't really get it in the video but uh you can what you can do is you can uh when you're reeling it you can sit there and shake your rod tip like this and now this rod's a medium heavy so it doesn't have a lot of flex in it but you can just sit there ever so gently shake the reel in your hand when you're reeling it back and it'll put a little bit more action into it but I really don't tend to do that a whole lot so 